Hey, the other day I was talking about how uh, everybody's waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God to be revealed. Um, and I just had some more to say about that because I also think that it's, it's, um, it's a shame when you start seeing uh, people of influence, I'm going to get on preachers again, when preachers are against other preachers because of, um, it's actually a spirit of competition. It's actually jealousy. It's actually, you know, you doing well makes me feel like I'm doing bad. And this has been going on for such a long time. And a lot of people are just overcome with that evil speaking and, and evil things and slander. Um, but they put God's name on it. You know, have you ever had somebody beat you over the head and still try to put God's name on it? You know, God is not behind that. And it confuses people. It causes people not to want to, um, you know, seek after God. And so there's a scripture that says, but I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do not, or do good to those who hate you. Pray for those who, who spitefully use you and persecute you. Do we see that today? Anytime we see somebody who's hating on us, we, we're known for making posts about all my haters watch me and look at this and aha and you know best revenge is serve code or whatever we be doing this that is not that is not the bible but we see that every day on in our in our in our lives and we see that from the world and then we bring that into the body of christ like like we're saying something spectacular when the bible says you ought to be the opposite you know you ought to be a peculiar people you can't be just like the world. I understand about winning the world, but you can't be just like the world. So the Bible talks about don't be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Don't be overcome with evil. You know, it's it'd be easy to just say what you feel because you're feeling all these evil emotions. Well, I'm sorry. So that first one was in Matthew chapter five, verse 44, when it says, but I say to you, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, do good to those who hate you, pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. When's the last time you've seen somebody who's actually really going through something and they genuinely pray for them, not, oh Lord, bless them in Jesus name. No, genuinely pray that God will bless them. You don't see, you don't see that uh, in our society and in our culture. Um, and sometimes, you know what, you have to build your faith in those areas. Sometimes when you first say that and you're trying to bless them, you don't know, you're not going to feel it in your heart, but you got to be people of the word. Maybe I'm a little biased because I am a teacher, but you got to have, you got to be people of the word in order to really have this fruit that Jesus was talking about. Because if we're going to be basing on some of these people, these worldly pastors and these worldly leaders, these worldly people in the body of Christ who call themselves saved, but they act just like the world, then again, there is no wonder why there are so many worldly uh, believers out there who are still cussing and still fighting and still arguing, and they will punch you in the eye in Jesus' name. Um... I just think there's something wrong with that. You know, I think this scripture needs to come alive. And then it says in Romans 12 and 21, do not overcome, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. See, it's very tempting to be overcome with evil when you're living in, you know, societies here. And, and if we don't stay in the word, then we're going to be just like the world. So I would just suggest when I know I was talking about how pastors are against each other, but it's only because most of them are overcome with evil because they don't like what the other person is doing or they think that this person is doing better so they have to kind of slander them or talk against them or 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 make them feel like you know you're not you're not anybody special i think this is time we supposed to build everybody up especially those of the household of faith we need to do good for those of the household of faith so i don't know it's just one of the things i was thinking about i say to you love your enemies bless those that curse you Use this day as an opportunity when somebody is cursing you or getting on your nerves to exercise Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who hate you. Anybody who's, you know, if you got so many haters on your timeline or whatever, 
then you ought to counter it with something instead of responding about look how many haters I got. Worldly Christians. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. You're all if you if you're doing anything for the kingdom, somebody's going to hate you. Somebody's going to persecute you. But that doesn't mean you respond the same way. It means you gotta you gotta take Matthew chapter five verse forty four, and and make that word become flesh. So that's all I want to say. Love you.